<laughs> okay, so again, good morning. This is our sample program for the use of Constructor. Okay, so again, I hope you were able to read the descriptions of the program codes and the keywords we use in the program. Okay, so again, we have our namespace, our class declaration, and since this is a console application, so we have the main method. Inside the main method, we have the instantiation of our class okay, that also invokes our constructor. And then we have the other program segments or program codes that will give us the output of the program. So here we use the constructor or a constructor and this is our constructor. This is outside our main method. So our constructor name will always have the same name uh, like our class name. Okay? So we have here the instance variables by the variables we assign the value for x post 20 y post 10 and then we will be using the property uh, sometimes this is also referred to as method but the property uses the get and set methods so basically in in in, uh, in c sharp now we call this property. So we declared a property x point with the get and set method. So the get method gets the value of our variable and then set will return the value that we were able to get. I get and set. And then this is the scope of our property. So inside the property we have the get and the set methods. So we have another property here for y point. Again, we use the get and set method. Okay. So of course, this will go all uh, inside the class declaration. So that's the scoping. Okay. So our properties and our constructor goes outside the main method. Okay. So that's our sample program. So we just we just have here okay, the complete view of the program segments that we have in the handout. So you will know where will it be inside the actual program. So basically, our output will be the value coming from our properties, x point, and y point, which has been get and set. So we have, we'll be returning the values 20 and 10. Okay, so basically our output will be the value of x and y, or the value of the x point and the y point properties. So that would be all. Thank you very much.